Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, we will um, solve a couple of logical problems today. This is part of the course called Mass Plus and Problems, presented on Unizor.com. Totally free um, website, by the way. Um, no advertisement, no strings attached, even signing is optional. And on that particular website, you can find a prerequisite course for this one, which is called Math for Teens. And there is a Physics for Teens, and there is a Relativity course. Um, so everything is free, as I was saying. So um, I have relatively completed, I believe, the Math for Teens course. This is theoretical background for um, regular school mathematics and well maybe a little bit higher maybe up to the first level of the uh, first first year of college and this course math plus and problems is um, basically uh, the continuation of that course and uh, it presents certain problems which you will unlikely um, uh, meet in regular schools these are problems to um, force you to think about something. It's not like to check whether you have correctly um, uh, got the theory part, like some theorem or something like this. These are problems which you really have to think about and what I suggest you is first I will explain the problem itself and then I will go to the solution of this problem. Um, so I suggest you just to pause my uh, pause the video uh, right after I present the problem and think about this yourself. The most important part is for you to think about it. And uh, that's the whole purpose actually. M math is the great uh, gym for your, for your brain. And uh, unlikely you will meet anything close to these problems in the real life. But at the same time, the whole course of mathematics is, again, very unlikely you will find something in um, regular life except like calculations or something like this. But it's a great tool to develop your analytical mind, develop your creativity. So thinking is the purpose of this particular course, Math Plus and Problems. Okay, so. Um, let's go to the problems. As I said, there are two problems. One is easy and another is based on the same thing, but a little bit more general. So the first problem is, consider a traveler who came to a different country and uh, he would like basically to uh, arrange his staying there. So he's staying in the hotel, pays with a credit card, but he does not have a local currency. However, he has a silver chain. Silver chain has seven links. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he has agreed with the restaurant owners where he is going to have seven dinners for seven days that he will pay one link from this chain for every uh, dinner he has. All right, I mean, obviously some artificial situation. Uh, so the restaurant owner agreed, but he said that he liked these links to be basically like whole links, like rings. He doesn't want to cut them, basically. But then he has agreed, okay, I can agree to accept one link uh, which is cut. So my question is how can you arrange cutting only one link out of these seven to be able to pay for uh, seven dinners with one link every time? Okay, so that's where you probably have to pause the video and think about it. And I will give you the solution. Solution is this. So if you will cut this link, you will be able to pay for the first dinner 
with this link. So these are connected. So this link is cut, so it's disconnected from these two. So for the first dinner, that would be the first. Now, the second dinner, what he can do, he can give two and take one back. So that would be the second dinner. Now, for the third dinner, he can give these two and this one. For the fourth, he will take back these three, but he will give these four. For the five, he will uh, leave these four and add this one. That would be the fifth dinner. For the sixth, he will take one back, but add two of these to these four. And for the seven, he gives all of them. So, as a result, only one link is cut, and we individually paid for each, uh, for each, for each dinner with one ring extra. Okay, so that's simple. Now, here is the second problem. Let's assume you have the same chain with n links, and you are making only k cuts. So k links can be cut. And our task is how can we cut it in such a way to, basi to, to basically maximize the number of days you can pay individually one link at a time. So this is much more general problem. And again, uh, pause the video and think about it, and I will go into solutions. Okay, so let's assume that we have this n links, and we have made k cuts. Well, first of all, immediately following from it is that from the days from number 1 to number k, we have individual links which we can pay one at a time. So the first k days are covered, okay, out of n. Now, what's the next step? Well, using these k links which have been cut, um, we can pay only with the k days. Now, there is a day number k plus 1. So what do we do at, at day number k plus 1? Well, we have to somehow make these cuts in such a way to be able to pay with the number k plus 1 without any additional cut. Well, what does it mean? If we don't cut anymore, we cannot pay anymore with individual links, right? So our next choice is to have a linked, uh, uh, a piece of a chain, uh, a segment of a chain, which has k plus 1 links together. So the first cut of these k should really cut uh, in such a way that you will have one uh, unbroken segment of chain with k plus one links. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have two links cut. Two links cut. This is cut. So, for the first day you give this one, for the second day you give this one, for the third day, which is k plus 1, k is equal to 2 in this case, you need to have three links in one segment, and then you will give this 
three links and take back two which have been accumulated at the restaurant. So you need three links here together. So now you can do three, then you can do four, you can do five, and what's next? Next is six, and you don't have out of these anything which is six. So six supposed to be the next uh, linked together segment of chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All of these should be connected. So you have three of this and six of this. What does it give? Well, it gives you six and five and, uh, and, and six plus, plus one would be seven, plus one would be eight, plus three would be nine if you take back these two, uh, ten would be uh, all of these, 3, 1, and 6, and 11 would be all of these. So for the 12s, you need 1, 2, 3, blah, 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 12 linked together. And that's basically as much as you can do, because with two cuts, you can have three segments uninterrupted. With k cuts, you can have k plus 1 segments, but no more than that. So, with two segments, this is what you can do. You can do everything from 1 to um, 11 plus, plus 12 to 23. So, up to 23 days, you can have a chain which contains 23 links and you can pay uh, one link at a time for 23 days, catching only two. So with catching only one, you can have maximum seven. With catching two links, you can have up to 23. So what, what I'm asking is, with catching K um, links, how many, how big the chain can be so you can actually um, uh, do this payment every link at a time. So you've got the idea. And what's important is that after first K cuts, we can pay for K days, and for K plus f first day, we need this one. Okay, now, how many days you can pay now? Well, you can pay with K and K plus one. So, up to 2K plus one, you can pay a day at a time. For a 2K plus 2, you have no choice, basically. So the next segment, uninterrupted piece of uh, chain, should have 2K plus 2. So this is, um, so this and this is K, this is K plus 1, and this is 2k plus 2. No, sorry, this one is 2k plus 2. 2k plus 2. Sorry. So if k is 2, 2k 4 plus 2, 6. Exactly, 6. The same thing as we have here. So, having first segment as k plus 1 link then you have a cut. Then the next segment should be 2k plus 2, then another cut. So what's next? Well, let's just count. k plus 1 plus 1 plus 2k plus 2 plus 1. How many all together? It's uh, uh, 3k uh, 3k plus 1, 2, 3, 4, something like this. Okay, so um, 
this is k plus 1, which is 3, this is 1, this is 2k, okay. So next one would be, so what can we actually pay right now? In this case we can, we can pay up to 11, uh, which is Four K plus four, is that right? Here it is. We have Kai, we have K cuts, right? K individual ones. We have K plus one and two K plus one. These have already been counted. So it's k plus 1 plus 2k plus 2 and plus k individual one. 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 3. So up to 4k plus 3 we are covering. So the next segment should have 4k plus 4. Yes, correct. Okay. Now let's check about this 12. If k is equal to 2, 2 times 4 plus 4, this is 12. Okay, so that, that's fine. So we are good. So now let's think about next. Let's have the case when you have three cuts. So for three cuts we have k plus 1, 2k plus 2, 4k plus 4 and k which all together is what? 3, 4, uh, 7, 8. 8 plus 1, 2, 4, 7. So this is all together 8k plus 7, which means this one, the next one, is supposed to be 8k plus 8. So you see the, basically the law is very simple here. It's a geometric progression. You have k plus 1 as the first member of this geometric progression and then every time we double this value so if you have k cuts you have k plus one segments right cuts are in the middle of the chain right if you have k cuts you have one two three in this case one more segments around these cuts. So we have k plus 1 segments, which means we have k plus 1 um, members of the, this geometric progression plus k individual links. And that's the total number. So all we have to do right now is to basically count how many links we have if this total number of links is equal to sum of geometric progression and k individual links together. Okay, now, um, so what is this geometric, uh, geometric progression? The first, um, a is equal to k plus 1. The uh, factor of geometric progression is equal to 2, right? So this is the first member, and this is the multiplier. How many members do we have? Well, if you have k plus 1, so we have total number of uh, participants in this geometric, in, in this geometric progression, which, which we have to summarize. 
is k plus 1. Since we have k cuts, it would be k plus 1 members. All right, now I do not remember the formula. I, I, I'm very bad with formulas, but I do know how to derive formula for um, geometric progression. So let me just do it right now. So you have A, A, A cube, A Q square, blah, blah, blah. And the last one would be, if it's K plus 1 members, it should be K plus 1, right? This is Q to the first, and this is K to the, uh, to the K, sorry, to the K. And that would be K plus 1, right? So that's what it is. Uh, no, not a to the power of k, it's a q to the power of k. Okay, how to summarize them? If this is s, you do s times q equals to what? If you multiply by q, it will be a q plus a q cube, uh, I mean square, a q k plus a q k plus 1, right? So if you will summarize them, you will have s plus s q, no, sorry, not summarize, subtract. s q minus s. From this you subtract this. So this would be canceling out, you will have a q k plus 1 uh, minus a So S is equal to A Q K plus 1 minus, well, I'll take out of parentheses, and this will be Q minus 1, right? If you will take S out of parentheses, would be Q minus 1. So this is the formula in my case. Now I have to basically substitute, so it will be uh, Q minus 1 would be 1, so S is equal to K plus 1 times 2 to the power K plus 1 minus 1, divided by 1, okay. Now this is my, uh, this is my sum of geometric progression, so these are only uh, segments plus k individual one individual links which I have cut in the very beginning so I will have this plus k which is k plus 1 2 to the power of k plus 1 minus k plus 1, that's this one, and plus k equals to k plus 1, 2 to the power of k plus 1, minus k minus 1 plus k, so it's minus 1. So this is the number of, this is the length of a chain, basically which I can use uh, to pay for this many days if I make k cuts, if I cut k links in the uh, positions which leaves my first segment as k plus 1, then cut, then the second uh, would be k plus 2 and cut, and then 4k plus k plus 4 and cut, etc. And the last one would be whatever it is. So, um, so this is how we can cut this chain of uh, chain which contains this number of links to be able to pay for that many dinners one link at a time. So that's basically the answer. Now let's check just in case if the formula is correct. 
Now, in case of seven links, we have uh, two together, one cut, and then four together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now link is only one cat, cut, so k is equal to one. Okay, let's put the k, k into this formula. k plus one is two times two square. Uh, that's four, that's eight, minus one, seven. Right, seven links. Okay, when we had two cuts, we had three here, we had six here, and we have 12 here. So it's 3 plus 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 12, which is 10, 11, 23. Okay, if k is equal to 2, 2 plus 1, that's 3, times 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, minus 1, 24 minus 1, 23. So formula seems to be correct, and we have derived this formula using whatever the logic we were just discussing. Okay, so basically, <laughs> let me just say it again. You will never have this type of a problem in the real life. However, again, the, the uh, seeking solutions to these type of problems really is very very important for developing your own creativity which you can use somewhere else in real practical problems and that's the reason for this particular course math plus and problems now within this course i have certain number of uh, well parts uh, this is the part which called lo lo logic and this is number four lecture in this part logic there is arithmetic there is algebra there is geometry so you go to the website and basically, you, um, in any order, I mean, the previous course, the Mass for Teens, is logically arranged with menus and submenus, etc., etc., so you have to really go sequentially because everything is related to whatever was before. In this case, I'm using all that theoretical knowledge which have been accumulated in the Mass for Teens course, and here I, I, I just present problems uh, absolutely unrelated to each other, so you can solve them in any sequence you want. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much, and good luck.